Okay, I am back, and uh, you might tell a tiny bit of difference between uh, video yesterday after it's been working and uh, now. And the secret sauce is the clue I had was that I went to cheese and the form was a lot better. Um, and I looked around and I found out about a an application of TKBC Viewer. Obviously, okay, that's clear. That's good. That's good. And uh, basically, uh, this is again, I'm in the level 4, and what I did is added a DP A Launchpad net. Source list and do that. So do a little blur on how Debian uh, and Linux derivatives uh, are uh, in Linux. Okay, so, you know, super user, and this will make sense in a second. I'm switch user to root. It's not super user. Okay, blur around a lot. The camera's still. Um, so let's uh, actually I'll just show you this. For okay, there is a in, in Linux of uh, in general case the etc direct here actually. Uh, the control panel. And the way the uh, files read for each uh, app, Lamin is an app, you know, Cron is an app, it is an app. <laughs> and that's short for I guess. And um, here, this thing called sources list. What this is, just a list of uh, URLs or web. <coughs> it's in web page form. Basically, uh, the, the uh, web page, uh, GUS, are going to uh, com onto. You. And so, do with Lucid Universe. Blah, 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 blah. That's where all the uh, apps are that are used in apps. And why is this clipboard getting the wrong thing that? Now, one event doesn't have one in. Oh, for God's sakes. I want that. Okay. If you. Let's see if I can paste this in here. Yes. Okay. So, can I do it up here? Yes. Okay. Press enter. It just gives you a. <coughs> like a, a, a directory structure like that. But if I were to poke around in here, I think. Um, Cool. Yeah, okay, I got universe, and then these are all the names of packages. Alright, these are all Debian files. There's a certain structure, but basically, all the apps I would ever want or, or need, not all the apps I would ever want, but all the apps that are available, made available by uh, archiveubuntu.com, are stored on their server and are available for download based on the format of this, etc app sources dot list file and the security <coughs> the security um model is that you have to import a uh, a GPG key in when you add uh, sources from a different <laughs> source. <laughs> so you know US of arch archive a bunch of com is uh, different than say uh, these new sources that I've added such as PPA launchpad.net for KDE3 and uh, bunkus.org for some kind of video splitting app because one of my videos was too long and I got to split it in two because YouTube rejected it. <laughs> and this one here, this this bottom set here that I that I ended up adding um, uh, allowed me to install the program with the name. Let's just go up here and get it right. G U V C View. And that by far is the best app I've used for any uh, kind of video recording. I noticed when I was in VLC, I just uh, it would get the the, the colors just absolutely wrong. <laughs> it would get the colors wrong. It would um, it would be like all oh, you could. I'd hold up a, a piece of paper like that, and it would just be white. <laughs> uh, luckily, uh, when I was doing my shell commands, it came out. Um, my 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 shell here is has a black background, and so you could see what I was typing. Maybe I'm not too sure if it was very clear. And this, and I got used to how I'm holding the camera, but now I, th I think I could actually do. People could actually see what I'm typing. I'm not sure if that that was happening in the, in the droid. So it makes me feel like this wasn't a complete waste of money. But I digress. Okay, so what you do is say you want to install this uh, GTK VC viewer in, in Debian, and the easy way to do that is to follow his instructions to add those two lines up there, Debian PPA. I think I got them down there uh, to the sources list, and just change. I, I'm running 1004, which is called Lucid. So I, I put Lucid in there instead of Karmic, and then down here to get the 
this GNU Privacy Guard GPG is uh, is used by governments. <laughs> it's a very <coughs> nice um, form of encryption. I haven't thought about the model. You know, if he if he puts his, uh, I guess there's a key server and it's a key server that no one else has. This doesn't make sense because I, I I after I type those two GPG commands, kind of a little hard to focus here, but <coughs> but if you want to um, look at this page in case this doesn't come out, it's g u v c view dot berlioz dot d e slash download html did i get that i think yeah that looks clear so um uh, apparently this person has his own security key that i can install but i probably can't decrypt is my guess and so it'll be unique to him so you know when the installer goes to install something uh, it it figures out whether that app is really from the guy you want it to get it from or something else, you know. Per the remote chance, somehow your app gets hijacked, and you're getting you're getting Trojan apps coming in. This protects you from that. It's a little bit too technical. <laughs> what you need to know for just a basic how-to. Okay, so I'm showing you this. This is how you get apps. They're all downloaded from the internet. You, you install applications that other people compile for you, uh, put into the uh, Debian package format. Uh, when you type apt get install name, name a package what happens is is that it reads this file all the different places that you know, all these different things are sources or different servers that have different packages on it uh, broke it up into groups I think this is multiverse is one group you know uh, probably have a media Ubuntu group maybe there or non free um, anyway and someone can someone that has just a server that's on the internet and has a private Hosting of it, they can um, also uh, join the big pool of people that are uh, making apps available and applications available, and uh, set it up somehow. I, I don't know. I've never done it before, and allow you to download an app from their server by typing "app get install" whatever it is, and what gets you to their server is this entry. It's an etc. etc. App sources dot list. Uh, the steps I took. Let's just man, just go backwards. Yeah. Okay. The first thing you do. It's not really clear on this page. The first thing I always do is I install their um, GPG.